Hello, people. Free Welcome back to our channel. We're so excited to have you again. The issue of security unrest in the South is precisely in a number of states seems not to end. UGM are up again, and this time around, they're going after the soldiers in a checkpoint. And you get to know the reason why they are doing this. You'll be so shocked because, uh, unfortunately, it's a way of rubbing a lot of things around IPOP, who had oftentimes um, made their intentions very clear that they are not part of the UGM. Neither are they involved in attack of any military you know, architecture in any southeastern state. But shockingly, you're going to hear what these guys actually said when they visited one of the checkpoints where the soldiers were in Anambra State. But before we give you full details of this, we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get a notification anytime we publish our videos. Now, according to the news, some unidentified UGM on Saturday uh, attacked some soldiers at a checkpoint in Agulu, Anaucha, local government area of Anambra State. Sources said the UGM welded so much weapons on them just as they came in their numbers. They reportedly arrived at the checkpoint which was manned by soldiers and then they engaged in shooting activity causing the soldiers to reciprocate in a bid to save themselves. The sources said that the UGM came in exotic automobile numbering about four suspected to have been snatched from unsuspecting members of the public for their nefarious oppression. According to an eyewitness said that they confronted the soldiers for over 10 minutes, causing residents of the area to scamper for safety. And after a long match between both parties, the men overpowered the soldiers and they had to withdraw, as the soldiers had to withdraw. According to details provided by a uh, a man who was on ground, he said that the men did not cover their faces and they were shouting on top of their voices, asking that Nam the Kano leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP be released. According to him, he said, we saw them. Some people even tried to make videos, but everyone was afraid not to be spotted and shot. Meanwhile, the number state police command has confirmed the incident while also condemning it as an attack. On the nation, DSP Tochuku Ikenga, who spoke to or said that generally speaking, any attack on any security agent is a threat to the soul of the nation. Yes, there was a shooting incident at a checkpoint in Agulu, but the information is still sketchy. That was what they had to say. And, um, you know, this issue uh, had always been buttressed on the issue of releasing Mazinam the Kanudu. In all this crisis, I could still remember some time ago when this guy's um, one of the you know Nollywood guys came up and was very emphatic about it that if you release this guy, all these Bahaha security instability in the southeast will come to an end. And APC chairman also made it very sorry, Abga chairman made it very clear that the reason why there is this security uproar every now and then in the southeast is because this guy is in prison. No, a lot of people do not believe this. And no, the reason is because even before he came on board as the, you know, um, he was being arrested and kept on that DSS custody, um, there was, you know, stuff like this. And I possibly have come up to tell Nigerians that, hey, Whatever that is happening to security architecture in the Southeast, we do not have any hand in them. And they have also gone as far as mentioning that actually it's the handiwork of uh, opening, political opening in those respective states that they do not have a hand. There was even a time that they were putting it on the person of uh, Ozadima, especially you know, when it happens in the South, in Imo State. They were talking about Ozadima as being, but you know, with just what has happened right now for me, it has kind of stale all that we have heard from IPOP about, you know, the issue of you understand? And uh, with that in mind, one begins to wonder if uh, all of these things that we have been crying about and, you know, all the issues that we have seen thus far, if it will change anything. You know, I'm going to reach some of the reactions of Nigeria. I'm going to read some of the reactions of Nigerians in respect to this. Sorry, a little bit of distraction there. 
But let, let's just look at what Nigerians say. I'm trying to say here. This one says, "Why are they mentioning them? The Kanu, please. Ibo should be exempted from it. This could be some outside supporters who feel that it is absolutely wrong for him to still be in DSS custody." Another person here says, "This is the handiwork of these guys called Autopilot Ibo." Hmm. He is the one sending out these boys to go around and cause mayhem around Nigeria, precisely in the southeast. Another person here says, these guys need to understand that war will not bring about the required political solution we, the elders have been working for, for Mazinam Dikanu. It's high time that he is allowed to send words to them. At least that could quell their anger and... Uh, so that will also be a proof that he will be released soon. Hmm. Another person here says, that is why I do not like all this. If we want to fight these guys with our architecture, I don't know what the person is writing here. And another person here says, for me, this is just a proof that this UGM are fighting different cause. They may not actually be part of IPOM, but they are moving around to ensure that anything that has to do with Mazinam, the Kanu, they meddle into it just to rub it around IPOM. Hmm. This other person here says, Ho Simon Iqba, he is behind all of this. We are tired of insecurity in the South. He is tired of security cases in the South. East. We want to rest from all of this trouble. This one here says, why won't they continue to be roadblocks in the southeast when these boys are not ready to give up? Someone replying him says, why is it that there are no roadblocks in the north due to activities of bandit and Boko Haram? Don't you see with your naked eyes that this is actually the work of politicians? Hmm... Another person here says, difficult time for South East. They should give them the president and also release Madison Amicano unconditionally. I feel this will restore peace back. Another person here says, these are the monsters that have been raised for years. And right now, nothing can stop them. Even when they will release Madison Amicano, they will stop their activities for a while, but they will come back again because this is the only thing that has given them pride. Another person here says, are these the same boys that made noise about standing up for Tinibu during the elections? So much confusion is going on in the country. So many people are talking here, but that's where we would like to leave it. Go to our conversation. Let's interrupt.